Good day to all my students in Math 122 Integral Calculus. In this video, we are going to discuss power formula as well as perform some examples on power formula. Okay, so the general power formula is given uh, by the integral of u to the n du is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, where n is not equal to negative 1. So, uh, always remember that in the power formula, n here can uh, be any number except negative 1. It could be negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. It could be uh, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. It could also be a fractional value. It could be negative 3 halves, negative, uh, negative 1 half. It could be positive 1 half. It could be positive 3 halves. But a power formula is not applicable if n is equal to negative 1. So that's the first thing that we're going to remember when using the power formula. Now before we proceed with solving examples on power formula, let us first start with the very definition of integration, which is the integral of du is equal to du is equal to u plus c. Okay? Always uh, bear in mind that after uh, performing the integration on the given integral, on your final answer, always add C. Okay? Because supposedly the integral of du is just equal to u. But always add a C every time you arrive at the final answer of the given integral. Okay? Now, if we go back to differentiation, if you get the reverse process, if you differentiate u plus c, then the differential of u plus c is just equal to du because the differential of a constant is zero. See, if you dis distribute this one, if you have differential of u plus differential of c is just equal to du plus zero equals to du. Because integration is otherwise known as antiderivative or simply the opposite process of differentiation. Okay? Now, let us discuss some of the important characteristics of integrals. Okay? So, if you have here the integral of a f of x dx where a is any constant, this is just equal to a, the integral of f of x dx where a you just can you you just put it outside the integral sign another characteristic is that if you integrate uh, a quantity f of x plus g of x dx it, this could also be minus this is just equal to the integral of the individual terms you add or subtract depending on the operation here so if this is plus it's just equal to the integral of f of x dx plus the integral of g of x dx. So if this is minus, this is also minus. Okay. So the power formula is this one. The general power formula is this one. So the difference, why the difference, you will be able to understand later when we go to the examples. It's going to be presented in this video. So, if you consider the integral x squared dx, this is just a straightforward process. Just use the formula. This is just equal to x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So, n here is 2. Therefore, this will be x cubed over 3 plus c. Therefore, the integral of x squared dx is just equal to x cubed over 3 plus c. Okay. 
Another variation is this one. You have the integral of the square root of x times the quantity x plus 1 over x dx. Now remember that square root of x is just equal to x to the 1 half. And 1 over x is just equal to x to the negative 1. So simplifying this integral, we have the integral of x to the 1 half times the quantity x plus x to the negative 1 half. Next thing to do is to distribute x to the 1 half to x and to x to the negative 1. So, x to the 1 half times x is just equal to x to the 1 half plus 1 because the power of x is 1. So, x to the 1 half plus 1 is equal to x to the 3 halves. And x to the 1 half times x to the negative 1 just equal to x to the 1 half minus 1 which gives us x to the negative one half so after distributing here you will arrive at the integral of x to the three halves plus x to the negative one half dx okay now applying properties of integral characteristics of integral you integrate separately so you have now integral of x to the three halves dx plus the integral of x to the negative one half dx. Okay, using the power formula, this is just equal to x to the three halves plus one, which is just equal to x to the five halves over five halves, plus negative one half plus one is x to the one half over one half plus c. Okay, so simplify further getting the reciprocal of 5 halves and 1 half so 5 halves becomes 2 fifths so you have 2x to the 5 halves over 5 and the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 so you have 2x to the 1 half plus c so the final answer for the given integral square root of x times the quantity x plus 1 over x dx is equal to 2 x to the 5 halves over 5 plus 2 x to the 1 half plus c. Okay. Now, let's go to the integral that involves the general power formula, which is, again, this one, u to the n du. Okay. So, how are you going to arrive at the formula u to the n du when the variable here is t? That's why this, there is a substitution involved in the process. So if you involve substitution, what are you going to substitute? Now, there are so many techniques in doing substitution, but simply, uh, in my own personal opinion, substitution may be performed on the term that made the integral complicated. So between t and square root of t plus 3, square root of t plus 3 is much complicated than t. Okay? So we can try square root of t plus 3 to be substituted or to, be, to focus our attention on substitution. So square root of t plus 3 is t plus 3 raised to 1 half. So if you let t plus 3 as your u, then it follows that du is equal to dt because 3 is a constant, therefore the, the differential of 3 is 0. Then if you solve for t, because you have a t here, you only let t plus 3 as your u. If you solve for t, then from this equation, t is equal to u minus 3. So going back to the original integral and simplifying, this is just equal to the integral of t over t plus 3 raised to 1 half dt. Now t, again, 
is equal to u minus 3. That's why you have here u minus 3. And t plus 3 is equal to u, then you have here u raised to 1 half. So this one will now become the integral of u minus 3 over u to the 1 half du. Applying properties or the characteristics of integral, integrating separately, so you could in, you could simplify this to the integral of u over u to the one half du minus because this is minus and this is three a constant just put outside the integral sign one over u to the one half which is this one okay now uh, u to the one half is just equal to u to the negative one over u to the one half is equal to u to the negative one half. That's why your numerator is 1, your denominator is negative 1 half. So simplifying this fraction, you will have u to the 1 half minus u to the 1, rather, minus 1 half. And this will be u to the negative 1 half, this one. So subtracting 1 minus 1 half is u to the 1 half. So this is integral of u to the 1 half du minus 3. The integral of u to the negative 1 half du. Okay, applying the general power formula. So u to the 1 half. The integral of that is u to the 1 half plus 1, which is u to the 3 halves over 3 halves, minus negative 1 half plus 1 is u to the positive 1 half over 1 half times 3 plus c okay because we have already a 3 here okay now getting the reciprocal of 3 halves and 1 half simplifying you will have 2 over 3 u to the 3 halves minus 2 times 3 is 6 u to the 1 half plus c okay substituting back the original variable t u remember is equal to t plus 3 Therefore, your final answer is the integral of t over the square root of t plus 3 dt is equal to 2 over 3 that times the quantity t plus 3 raised to 3 halves minus 6 times the quantity t plus 3 raised to 1 half plus c. Okay? So when you substitute u, always go back to the original variable at your final answer okay do not stop here because as you can see your given is in variable t and your answer is in variable u so you always go back to the original variable so that's why here we have our final answer okay now next is this integral the integral of 2 r all over the quantity 1 minus r raised to 7. So by inspection, let's just go directly. Uh, 1 minus r quantity raised to 7 is much complicated. So let's, let's substitute 1 minus r as our u. Then it follows that our du is negative dr. Because the differential of 1 is 0. Okay, so dr is just equal to negative du, just the same, okay? So you, we already have our 1 minus r, we need to represent our r. So from this equation, r is equal to 1 minus u. Okay? We just transpose both variables. We arrive r equal to 1 minus u. Okay, so... Uh, Simplifying or substituting 2, we just put it outside the integral sign. R is 1 minus u, so we have here 1 minus u. And 1 minus r raised to 7, 1 minus r is u, so you have u to the 7. So we have a change in variable from variable r to variable u. The previous example, we have variable t to variable u. Okay? So now, uh, 
Rather, this is negative because dr is negative du. So when you apply uh, negative 1 to this factor here, then this will be reverse. So this will be u minus 1, the integral of 2 times the integral of u minus 1 over u to the 7 du. Okay? So you, if you apply negative 1 to this quantity here, then it will be reversed. Okay? So by properties of integral, separate. So u over 7 minus 1 over u over u to the 7 minus 1 over u to the 7. Okay? But u, so we have here 2 times the quantity integral of u over u to the 7 du minus the integral of 1 over u to the 7 du. Okay? So u over u to the 7 is equal to u to the negative 6 and 1 over u to the 7 is u to the negative 8. Performing or applying the power formula, so n plus 1 is negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5, so you have u to the negative 5 over negative 5, then you have negative 7 plus 1 is u to the negative 6 over negative 6 plus c. Okay, so remember, uh, this is variable r, this is variable u, so the next step is to simplify this one, so since uh, the first term is negative, so this is getting the reciprocal of u to the negative 5 is uh, 2 all over negative 5 u to the 5, this one. So because this is negative, and this is minus, and this is negative, so this term will be positive, that's why we put it here, the first term. So u to the negative 6 is 1 over u to the 6. And 2 over negative 6, since it's also negative, so positive. So this term actually, because of the minus sign, becomes the first term. And the first term here, because this is negative, becomes minus 1 over 5 u to the fifth. Okay? I hope you, you follow this one. Then finally, since original vario variable is r, we have u, substitute back our u, which is 1 minus r, then our final answer is the integral of 2r over the quantity 1 minus r raised to 7 dr is equal to 2 times the quantity 1 over 6, quantity 1 minus r raised to 6 minus 1 over 5, quantity 1 minus r raised to 5 plus c. Okay. So I hope you'll be able to follow. Then we have our last example. So here, the integral of x cubed times the quantity 2 minus x squared raised to 12. So obviously, this quantity makes the equation a little bit complicated. So let us start substituting uh, 2 minus x squared as our u, then it follows that du, the differential of this is negative 2x dx, okay? Then since we had to represent dx, solving for dx, uh, uh, dx could have been uh, negative du over 2x, but since we want to retain x for purposes later on, because we need this x later, no? because we can only substitute for x squared, and this is x cubed. Okay? So you have here uh, d x dx is negative du over 2. And from here, from u, x squared will be equal to 2 minus u. Okay? So you, you might uh, be confused why we need x squared when we have x cube. If you get 1x here and put it beside dx, then you will have x dx and this will become x squared. Okay? Uh, 
substitute back. Uh, before substituting, we simplify the given. So we, this is now x, x cubed will now become x squared x dx. Okay, because x times x cubed is just equal to x. Uh, x times x squared is just equal to x cubed. And just copy this one. And we know that uh, x squared is equal to 2u. That's why we have here 2u. And 2 minus x squared is our u. That's why we have 2 minus x squared raised to 12. And x dx or rather u to the 12 and x dx is negative du over 2 which is this one so since we have here uh, negative 1 half we put 1 half outside the integral sign so you have 1 half here and negative 1 is applied to this factor so this will become reversed so u minus 2 so the negative sign is already uh, gone because we actually multiplied negative 1 to this factor. This is the same on what happened to the previous example. So our integral now after this step is positive 1 half outside the integral sign times uh, the integral of the quantity u minus 2 times u to the 12 du. Then obviously what we're going to do is distribute u to the 12 times u is u to the 13 du minus 2 u to the 12 du do not forget the 1 half here okay so integrating this will be u to the 14th over 14 minus 2 u to the 13th over 13 plus c okay so our original variable is x so substitute back our u our final answer is the integral of x cubed times the quantity 2 minus x squared to the 12 dx is equal to 1 half times the quantity 2 minus x squared quantity to the 14th over 14 minus 2, uh, 2 times the quantity 2 minus x squared raised to 13 over 13 plus c. Okay. So based on these uh, examples, uh, we'll be able to answer all the tasks in module 1. Task number 1, specifically in module 1, which is our uh, topic.